sort of building or enhancing this relationship? Um, yeah, I feel like we've we've pushed each other uh, way more. Coach McMurati does a great job in the off season, um, and he and he's back to his old ways, so to speak. Um, COVID again messed that up. Um, there was a lot of regulations, a lot of rules, you know, certain hours. But now, like since it, you know, kind of opened up back to normal, I feel like we're back, you know, to you know how things used to run um, in the off season. This offense, Jackson, this offense. Um already finished You're first good. in points and yards last year. I mean, how good, I mean, what is the ceiling on that, knowing you can do that? I mean, is it a 50-point is it offense? Is it a 600-yard offense? I mean, yeah. How good can you guys be? Um, I'm not going to put any limit to that. Uh, you know, we go on the field, we try to score every possession. And, um, and yeah, uh, we're, we're just looking forward to the challenge of being the best and holding, holding to that standard. Where do you think you can be better? Where do you think you can be better this year? Um, all around, um, for sure. Uh, offense, so to speak. Uh, I mean, we can be better all around. Uh, you know, I could be better all around. Jackson, I have a couple questions on your brother. Um, growing up, he, obviously he's a professional baseball player. Athletics must run in the family. Yeah. What's it like to you to see your brother succeed and know you're going to be succeeding at the next level? Is that exciting to see him and has he been able to kind of guide you through some Oh, things? yeah, yeah. Um, during this offseason, when he's done, he kind of lives with me, which is like towards the end of the, the playoff run. But, yeah, it's been it's been great. Um, we have always dreamed about this since we're like little kids, like three years old, playing knee football in the living room, all mad, all that stuff. But... You know, it's a dream come true. You know, he's one of my heroes. Um, guides me real well. I mean, just, you know, set the standard for me and tell me how great I am or tell me how bad I am um, all the time. So, you know, for him to be in my ear is the reason why I'm here today, one of the reasons why I'm here today. I know you're only, yes, I know you're only here a couple, um, couple day, days, but uh, did he have any uh, Indianapolis recommendations for you since he was here <laughs> this year? Uh, when I came to visit him, um, um, we we went to some restaurant I can't remember. It was pretty good, but um, Dewan's uh, family lives here. His grandma. I'm I'm trying to make it to to his grandma's house so I can get a plate before I leave. But we'll see. Jackson, Cam, uh, Cam Babb has had a bit of a challenging career so far. How has he been doing this off season? And just what what how does he impact the team since he hasn't been able to play so far? I mean, Cam Babb's been, always been, you know, one of our leaders, and we always look to Cam Babb, you know, for advice because we just have so much respect and uh, we know how much work and how deserving he is. Um, so, you know, to have someone like that, um, for me, I mean, this year I'm going to be leaning on Cam Babb a lot because, you know, just the person he is, his, his hard work, and, you know, um, ready to see him on the field. You know, he's healthy, he's back. He looks great. Um, you know, I'm excited. His ceiling's his ceiling's really high. So, you know, when when Cam Babs in there, uh, the whole team, you know, it, we're gonna light up. You're gonna give up a couple passes, so, <laughs> so Cam can eat. Too. Yeah, I, I, I don't mind at all. You say he was back this summer. You got to see him. Yep, yep. He he was back this spring. He's been he's been full go. He's ready to go. Do you feel snuck? Oh, I mean, <laughs> big time, big time. Um, we don't accept that uh, really, but it, it, it's unacceptable um, to us. So, um, you know, it's definitely a focus point. It's definitely something that we hear a lot. And um, um, yeah, uh, it's a big, it's a big motivator for us. Oh, I mean, <laughs> everywhere. I, it's a, you know, it's a two respectable teams, uh, the best rivalry uh, in the game, uh, probably sports. So yeah, you're gonna hear about it. <laughs> Do you feel? Oh, uh, for sure. Um, Jaden Ballard has been looking really good. Um, been looking really impressive. He's really coming into himself. Um, haven't been able to see the freshmen too often. We're about to get some pads on, so to see those guys. But you know, our our room is pretty stacked. Um, you know, we got we got Emeka Buka that's gonna come on the scene this year. He's a great he's a great talent. Uh, Julian Fleming, of course. Like I said, Cam Bab. Um, you know, um, we're gonna 
we have a room this year for sure. How are you and your teammates looking at trying to replace all the production of Chris Olave and Garrett Wilson from the team last year? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's Ohio State. Uh, great guys leave. You know, uh, great guys come in, and we're ready to prove ourselves. Prove ourselves, and uh, the young guys are ready to prove themselves um, coming in. And you know, they're great players, and they're ready for it. Do you guys have a little bit of like hunger from the perspective of maybe underdog type players? Um, yeah, just to, um, to to show what you have. You know what I'm saying? Like when you get on the field, when you're on the stage, and uh, no one's really seen seen you before like that. Um, you have that hunger for sure. Do you feel snubbed that you didn't win the Ballistic Cup Award, considering you had a record-breaking season last year? Uh, nah. I mean, it is what it is. I don't really look into stuff like that, for real. Um, uh, Jordan Addison, he's a great player. He, he definitely had a great year and deserved that. Um, if it was me, I would have gave it to uh, Garrett or Chris, honestly. Um, but um, Or not, Jameson Williams, for real. Um, yeah, for real. Um, but, yeah, nah, but, I mean, he, uncontrollable. I try to control the things I can control. I mean, hopefully we'll get it this year. On that note, how did you react oh, a couple Patrick. years ago to win our receiver did win the Heisman Trophy? It's been 25 years. And then, uh, yeah. Devon, I mean, what, what did you and Chris and uh, Garrett, is that something? Yeah, we started watching his film immediately. <laughs> uh, we started getting into the coach's ears immediately and and telling them what we saw. Um, I seen it in person my uh, first year in the Natty. And uh, yeah, a great player. Um, and yeah, definitely motivation as a receiver. And where does Coach Hartline, I mean, how obviously he's getting a lot of attention with not only you guys' success, but some of the guys you're recruiting in there. Is there something that he does that, I don't want to say keeps you grounded, or how has Brian Hartline pushed you, knowing that that room's got so much talent in it? Yeah, um, I feel really close with Coach Hartline. I know a lot of the guys do, so, and and he knows me real well, um, just like you know, all the players he recruited. But yeah, he just he knows he knows um, he knows when I'm doing bad or when I'm doing good or when I'm better. Uh, he knows the standard to hold me at, and he pushes uh, me there. He pushes me every day um, to get there. Uh, to be the best in the nation, um, for our core to be the best in the nation. So, um, yeah, without him, it, it would be really be hard. I mean, he he put this room, he moved this room to, you know, um, receiver you, they would say. It was on six. Of, we talk a lot about Brian Hartline, but what about Coach Keenan Bailey? What oh, yeah. Break? Oh, yeah. He's the, he's the guy. He, he does the dirty work, for sure. Um, you know, he's... He's always in my ear. That's my guy. Um, he's going to tell the offense. He's going to, you know, tell CJ, tell the guys, you know, what you're going to see. Just extra. It's a guy, I mean, Coach Key, it's not even a label you can put on him. Um, he's really like a big bro that, you know, looks out for us and um, going to give us everything, all the tools we need to be successful. Jackson, you talked about just getting bigger, faster, stronger. What specifically did you work on vis-a-vis -vis being on the field? Right? You know, the specific routes, the specific moves? What, what do you yeah, um, I like to uh, try to be creative. So, yeah, just work on my creativity, um, which is fun because I can just do that sitting on the couch in my mind, too. But, like, yeah, yeah I've had tried some, like, you know, new things, you know, new releases, new, you know, there's stuff, you know, I can always improve on. Um, I like to work on my overall game um, and, uh, yeah, just see where that takes me. You've got uh, Express, DSW, the whole ensemble. How has NIL changed for you since that Rose Bowl game? Uh, it's been a, uh, I'm a big NIL fan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big NIL fan. Um, um, but yeah, it has changed. Um, you know, don't got to worry about you know a lot of things. But you know, it comes with a lot. You just got to be prepared. You got to be have a good team around you. Have a good head. Um, you know, make sure you're not doing too much. I mean, is what I would say. I mean, I just like to even it out. Make sure you know everything's being uh, ran well. But um, yeah, I have a good team that take care of all of that. And yeah, it's been a, a big blessing. Yeah, um, yeah. I remember uh, going up to a camp uh, to meet Coach Alexander and at Notre Dame. Um, 
Yeah, uh, I looked at uh, when I was younger. I believe I looked at Notre Dame. I mean, they're they're a great program. Um, have a great culture there. So um, once I was locked on Ohio State, though, uh, it was over after that, and I committed pretty early my junior year. Notre Dame does. Um, no, nah, no, nah. it's just pretty smart. We get, we got some good athletes down in Texas, so that's good for them. Yeah, I actually wasn't I wasn't here at that game. I had uh, COVID that game, so I missed it. But I, I was definitely watching. Um, he's a, a great player who makes a, a good a great play. So. Um, I'm looking forward to that matchup. It's going to be fun. Um, you know, just a, a, a good defense versus a good offense. I mean, first season opener, you know, under the lights, it's going to be fun. Uh, nah. Everything. Yeah. A lot of fights with my brother, uh, my roommate Corbin Cleveland. We go at it versus everything. Me and CJ go at it versus everything. Yeah, I, I, I hate to lose, and I, I just want to be the best at everything, even when I'm not. I think I am, so it doesn't matter. I'm trying it. I actually was just on a simulator and with hitting the best swings of my life, I swear. Did you see the Garrett Weird. Wilson video where he nearly took somebody out? Yeah, come on, Garrett. <laughs> yeah, I've done that before, too, not going to lie. Jackson, but, yeah, that's dangerous. Jackson, the past few years have been Obviously, last year you exploded into the national scene. A lot of people are saying you're arguably the best receiver on a team that had two first round draft picks at wide receiver. Given how much, you know, attention and just uh, basically fame that you've received over the past year, how do you keep yourself grounded and how do you, like, just manage that year out your day night life? Um, just new goals that I set for myself, um, higher goals that are harder that I have to I have to stay focused, I have to stay level headed. Well, I know I'm not gonna reach those goals and we fell short um, as a team last year. Um, not making it to the playoffs, not making it to the uh, natty. So I mean I feel like I haven't I feel like I haven't really done anything. I feel like I haven't really won anything. Um, so this year hopefully I'm looking for a change. So I know I have to work to get there so that's my mindset. Jackson CJ was just talking about Guys relationship all the way back to the opening. What do you remember about the first meeting panel and how is that relationship? Yeah, he was a skinny kid. He was a skinny kid. Um, I remember I wasn't on the same team as him, but I remember just uh, hearing him. Uh, Julian Fleming would come to me and was like, hey, we got a receiver. I mean, a, a quarterback that's top notch, like, but he doesn't know where he wants to go and stuff like that. And I remember watching him and, you know, he had an arm. He had an arm on him and um, we just we just met and talked and you know he was a cool dude and uh, said he didn't really know where to go uh, where he wanted to go yet and you know Julian and G Scott um, you know talked to Coach Day and you know made it happen. How is that relationship with all you mentioned not just on the field we see that now yeah. on the field as well. What, what do you guys do after? Yeah. Uh, we've been traveling everywhere um, together actually. Um, after after the last game, we just been going everywhere. Just been hanging out. Um, he came to Dallas. I went to L.A. You know, see his family, stuff like that. Just hanging around, and you know, that's that's my boy. That's my brother. So, you know, we just you know kick it, and I feel like you know it does translate on the field a little bit. Do I enjoy it? Sometimes. Sometimes I do. <laughs> Sometimes. Kind of lock that out sometimes. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, I feel like, um, well, it, it's, it hasn't been like this, but usually I, you know, am pretty good about that. Um, probably too good. My mom says I don't answer the phone sometimes and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I feel like you know I have a good team. I have a good support system. You know, to put me back in my place. You know, my dad especially. So. Um, I feel like I'm pretty good at. That, that creativity you were talking about before. <laughs> so that creativity you were talking about before, and like wanting to sort of enhance that. How much of that is 
knowing that you're going to be under kind of a different spotlight this year, that guys are probably already studying you for that that matchup. Do you feel like you have to be a different player in some ways? Oh yeah, for sure. Um, you know, you know, people. We have the best offense in the nation. And, you know, people watch that, and people, you know, want to come out and get you. They don't want you to have over 50 yards, one catch ball. So. You have to be. You have to be creative. Um, you have to. That's how you. Um, I feel like you know. Stay uh, are the best. You know. You, you give different looks, and you know. Coach Harline does a great job with that, and and, and preparing me and showing me. Uh, Coach Keenan Bailey too. Uh, you know. And um, yeah, it, it's fun to work on because I love the game and I learn. I love to like learn something new, and I feel like my mind's always working. So. You know, it's a it's all the off season is always a fun time of year for me. Earlier this summer, your brother made a 